John Vaughn is a hero in football, and I think he's known for that. Now he's a hero for those men who can't speak about the unspeakable. I mean, he's one of the strongest voices that there is in sexual violence at this time. He stood out there on, at 8.15 and a half, South University in front of the president's house. I'm not going away. This is happening. He was sick of being silenced. He was sick of nobody listening. He was sick of waiting for results. I listened to this story, the circumstances, and why he was pursuing this. He wants answers, he wants accountability, and he wants action. It's not just about John Vaughn. It is about honoring his mother. It's about honoring his children. It's about honoring all his teammates and his community and all of those who might suffer after him. Yeah, it would have been much easier to stay quiet, but I think there was a balance of good and bad. But the end goal was how do we as victims who are perpetrators have passed, the individuals that empowered him had passed, how do we leave the university or the world safer than what was left to us? You don't often hear men talk about such pain with such courage and dignity and strength, and you can actually feel it from John. It emanates. It is so deep. John is hail to the victims. He is everything behind this. He has shown, he has stood up to the world and said, hey, it's just not young women or kids. It can be big, tough guys. You know, he's taken something that's extremely personal and terrifying for most and shown, particularly for men, men of color, um, but for all survivors of sexual assault, that this is a human issue. This isn't a female issue. This isn't a men's issue. This is a human issue. John's actions are so selfless and exemplary. He stands up for all of those without a voice who said, I can't do it. And they look at John and they say, if he did it, I can do it. Because at the end of the day, I am just a human. And I do care about humanity. And hopefully, you know, if I look back on my life in 20 years, we're not having the same conversation. And I, I'd love to be an, an, an influence in that. We're not having these conversations anymore. There's no need for these awards anymore.